moccasins, the traditional footwear of the American Indian. But for Montana Chippewa Cree artist John Murray, beads and buckskin are the canvas and paint he uses to create moccasins that are fine works of art that you can wear. There's a lot of people that say, well, they're too nice to wear. So I think there's a lot of people when they do get them, they go, oh, I can't wear these. John is an art instructor at Stone Child College on North Central Montana's Rocky Boy Indian Reservation. He grew up in a traditional native family. My grandmother did a lot of beadwork and she was pretty well known for it. Watching his grandmother bead. And then I was interested in Traditionally, few men spent time beading. It was kind of a, a female thing to do, but I was just too interested in it to leave it alone. As a young man, John was a competitive native dancer. I needed to have beadwork. Traveling to powwows across the country. I was a perfectionist. I needed to have beadwork to be just so, otherwise I didn't want to wear it. So I figured if I was this picky, I better do it myself. And then a colleague of mine asked for a pair of moxins. This was about the time Facebook was just now coming around. So I posted those once and it, and it just kind of took off from there. John's lost track of how many pairs he's made since then. Probably, I know well over 100. He posts photos of his newest creations on Instagram, where customers find him to commission their own custom designed pair. Anywhere from 1,000 to 2,500, depending on materials I use. Um, they're just like any other shoe. You know, you wear them, and you wear them until they get worn out, and then you buy another pair. <laughs> yeah, people wear them. There's all kinds of color in these beautiful works of art. As I consult with every customer, and they tell me which colors, and some of them will get very specific. And designs inspired by the traditional life of the Plains Indian. Buffalo tracks, horseshoes. The natives have always revered the horse, the power that it has, and what it represents to us. And stars. The orange ones, I use cross stars a lot. We use a lot of stars in, in our designs, it's representing sometimes relatives, sometimes stories that we have about stars and what they represent. So I started with her foot pattern, and then I was able to go from her foot pattern and make this, uh, this, this, this pattern here that goes on top. That's, that's this part of the moccasin here. John has made moccasins from moose or buffalo hide, but usually uses brain tanned deer hide, also known as buckskin. I have an uncle that does traditional brain tanned hides, smokes them and tans them. I know what it takes to, to do a hide, so I like to pay him what he's worth. His work is inspired by timeless tradition. I used to see my grandmother make this design all the time, but I put a little contemporary twist on it. I kind of separated the, the, the pattern here. You can see the turquoise separates the colors. A pair of fully beaded moccasins can take two weeks working six hours a day, but this time consuming work can also be therapeutic. You get lost in it. You get engulfed in the colors and the design and you just keep going and pretty soon it's four or five hours later. You know, sometimes I'll be till four in the morning and I'll look up and I'll go, it's four in the morning, I better go to sleep. John's had many invitations to exhibit his work at the nation's top Indian art shows, but his moccasins, usually a custom commission, sell as fast as he makes them. There's a lot of people that say that stuff needs to be in the herd show, the Santa Fe Indian market, all these different shows. And I'm, well, I wish I could, but I just don't have no work. So I got to find a way to get there. John shares his knowledge with his creative students at Stone Child College. I was great to teach young people the traditional skills that, that we should pass on. Where he also teaches a variety of other art forms, but beaded moccasins are his mission. His message? Like I said, we're still here, we still create, and we're still relevant. And his passion. I get to create, just put it out there and have people see it and appreciate it. I have a lot of designs and color schemes in my head that are just going through all the time. I don't know how they would get out if I just didn't keep creating. <laughs>